Good morning, Sam, and good morning to the viewers. Let's, let's talk about the journey to last night's awards. Just recap it for us and, and kind of the, the, the quality of the entrance we've seen this year. Okay, as a brand house, we opened an opportunity for people who have done any media work. Uh, it can be articles, it can be TV or radio programs uh, for the period uh, between May last year and May this year to enter for these awards. Uh, particularly people who have written about responsible use of alcohol, either highlighting the problems of abuse in our communities and the efforts that are being made to, to address that. Uh, I mean, we have seen over the past four years of doing the, of uh, organizing these awards, uh, every year we find an increase in the number of entries, uh, this year reaching 165, as well as the quality of the content that you uh, receive. I think uh, uh, our media professionals are beginning to take this matter serious and in-depth re uh, reporting and investigation of some of the key issues that are driving this social problem. And they are greatly assisting us in terms of highlighting the problem to the mm -hmm. consumers, as well as uh, highlighting it as a social issue facing South Africa. And in terms of then from that 165, we had an amazing panel uh, of uh, judges that looked through all of those entries. Uh, it included quite uh, renowned mm -hmm. people in the communication as well as uh, media background. And we also had a kind of community-based uh, experts to see if that story could have made any impact. Mm -hmm. And from that, then we uh, gave awards uh, last night to a group of journalists. Yeah. Sibani, in terms of the criteria, is it only uh, in relation to judges who obviously look at the quality of work? So it's quality of work. Is it impact? Is that the criteria for what the selection process was for the winners? I think it was more the ability, uh, how creatively you uh, capture the issue at hand. For instance, the first story that uh, won the night was from the Mail and Guardian. It highlighted the problem in the R, where young people, because of poverty and unemployment, they are uh, facing these challenges of violence, of pregnancy, and in addition to that, then they are abusing alcohol. What arises from that then is you have a visual cycle of uh, both alcohol and substance abuse playing itself out, people not going into education and uh, also not seeking or finding employment opportunities and probably even those children born under those circumstances may have future alcohol syndrome. So they were able to capture the difficult circumstances of that community and be able to mm. play it out to the South African audience and highlight those problems uh, in terms of how it needs to be addressed. There are a number of them actually from that poverty situation yeah. to a much more modern situation where uh, one issue was at the uh, People who go to a rugby match, for instance, they go there excited, taking their children with, they abuse alcohol and misbehave in front of their children, and that compromises uh, relationships with families. And those are the type of things that we're looking at. Sabani, it's easy to, to, to say that there's been an impact because you do host the awards. But what is the, what is the, the yardstick? What have you used to measure the kind of impact this award has had over the, the last four years? Is there a decrease in the amount of people that consume alcohol? Have you seen in the awareness campaigns? Talk to me about the tangible uh, things that you've seen in, and how you've measured that. Well, in terms of the communication and how then the, the issue of responsible use of alcohol competes with others, because there are a number of social problems in South Africa that needs to be addressed. It can be education, it can be uh, each holes that you are talking about, and or any other matter. So that we have been able to achieve in terms of uh, getting a media to prioritize it. But in terms of how then to address the problem in the community, in, in society itself, and a clear statement was made last night that in South Africa, you need uh, multiple interventions that you need to implement in communities to turn around this situation. One of which, of course, we need as companies to advertise these uh, products in a responsible way in a manner that is not exposing uh, the products to uh, underage people in a manner that 
doesn't glamorize the products and mislead uh, potential consumers. But also on the other side, there are programs that need to be implemented on the ground to make sure that people don't drink and drive and there should be enforcement of if people continue to drink and drive and therefore there shall be roadblocks, people should be arrested and convicted. And there are other areas in terms of for instance, dealing with drinking during pregnancy, we have implemented a program in that the Northern Cape area to make sure that we reduce the number of children that uh, are, are, are born with fetal mm. alcohol syndrome, and that has reduced tr uh, tremendously. Sibani, so we're going to have to leave it there, but thank you very much for joining us from our Cape Town studio. That was external manager of Brandhouse, Sibani Mgadi. The Brandhouse is committed to the responsible use of alcohol and educating consumers about alcohol misuse. They are also, as I mentioned, concerned about the negative impact the behavior has on society at large.